by Mason Gillis, an even better pass. And a beautiful shot from Sasha Stefanovic. Morton with the unselfish play. Here's against the zone again. Mason Gillis flashing in and finding Sasha Stefanovic. The Boston Celtics last year and this year. And it's just a really well-rounded group over on that bench. That's one thing that you can say. Hard better. We're going to do shell drill for the next 10 days. <laughs> a great cut. A great pass. What a feed, Williams to Gillis. What it's like to where you sit out for a year and a half, two years, and try to find yourself as a player. It can be really difficult. You see the cut, and Travion Williams showing off that passing ability. A little bit of tired legs. Valpo's done a great job of making these bigs uncomfortable. They've doubled. They've made you think, and a great cut by Morton there. They couldn't connect earlier. It put his body, and that's why the rebound fell into his lap. Good look to Stefanovic for three. That's good for Sacha. And again, I talked about it. He looks up right as he gets it, sees the double team. Nice skip pass. And when he's in rhythm, he's not going to miss another one. Maybe Williams is 265. And when he puts his shoulder to your chest, you're going to move. Beautifully executed inbounds passes. Aaron Wheeler was all alone for a bunny shot. Excellent execution on the inbounds. Play right there. Comes around on a curl. You want to see him come to the game and dominate. That's what Williams is doing so far. Williams waits for the traffic to clear, and with authority, he hammers it home. Yeah, they, he definitely needs to improve on certain things. And as we see him in the last play, what Matt Payne playing inspired basketball. Beautiful cut from Mason Gillis on the feed from Travion Williams. Well, Travion Williams not only scoring the rock, Playing with two fouls has certainly a vote of confidence. Travion Williams, two hands that time, his second dunk of the night. Just scrambling defensively. And you can't, just can't leave the basket open like that. Nice pass. Travion Williams, he can do that. Can he, Steve? And he finds Brandon Newman. The foul. Let's go back to these assists. This is a Big Ten standout presented by Auto Owners Insurance. There are certain matchups and certain teams that players tend to play better against. How about Travion Williams? We're praising his passing. That time, a no look flip over the shoulder to Aaron Wheeler. Newman cutting hard. And then Wheeler taking advantage of Suey. Suey's. Right into Williams. Double team and another no-look pass. This time he finds Mason Gillis. He seems content to be Magic Johnson. No look over the head. And Mason Gillis is a recipient. It leads to the moving screen on Connor McCaffrey. Yeah. Inside to Travion Williams. Good feed, nice catch and finish by the big man inside for the Boilermaker. Travion Williams with the double team coming from Bohannon. And open Mason Gillis with an easy two. Dude is be sped up a little bit from a defensive standpoint with their changing defense. And can they stop that guy too? That'll be a big question. Travion Williams gets the first bucket of the game. A little gift from distance, that's for sure. Mariel, it's off the hands, and Stefanovic picks it up. He got a two on one. Well, that time. Loose ball, Sasha comes up. That's a beautiful bounce pass and a better wraparound by Wheeler to a trailing Zach Eady. Oh, that's beautiful basketball right there. Some of the players here uh, having families present, but it's, you know, these young men are making it a definite sacrifice. Extra lift in his legs, but boy, he sure looked good on that first one. He saw a stat line the last time he played Purdue, and there's a little alley-oop that time to Williams for the first bucket for Purdue. You see Jacob Young walking to a three like that. That's a great sign for, for the Scarlet Knights. Williams isolated that patented over-the-head pass into the corner for Eric Hunter. And he got through it and got the layup down. You, you don't see that very often. Nice backdoor cut, Mason Gillis on the feed from Travion Williams. To back 30 point games, first Illinois player since 97 to accomplish that. Edie off the catch, she finishes. Make a, a patient move. 
mean, other than Henry, we've got four guys out there that have not been together at the same time. Gabe Brown, too. That's a nice move and a beautiful pass, too, from Williams. Then Lala Muir Prep in Indiana. I mean, look at this. you got to pay attention. I mean, he's feet 15 feet from... Ivy with a jump stop. Oh, great pass over Bingham. Counted in a foul. That was huge. Ivy with a beautiful pump fake. I would say you don't want to pass this ball in that position because most bigs aren't looking at the passer. They're, they're already looking to see where the rebound is going, but this is exactly how good. And the Sasha Stavanovich will trigger it in. Inside to Ivy. Counted in a foul. Trying to make the ball go the other way. That's too easy. Out of a timeout. But again, you, you know, which I saw him and that an Indiana team in 76. There's Williams. Counted and a foul. Out of the timeout. Beautifully done. See how they're able to handle that balancing act after the second foul on Brockington. And they fall asleep on the inbounds pass. Beautifully done for Stefanovic. There's Stefanovic, shot clock under 10, nicely done. Some great passing there from the Boilers, and Hunter now has six. Talk us through it's this, out coach. of his hands immediately. Yeah, it's out of his hands immediately. He almost jumps in the air and throws it before it comes down. So it's it's perfect. Elbows stay high. When you keep your elbows high like that. Especially the live ball turnovers. And then it's, you know, that much worse because it's a three. Bob inside. Good look to find Aaron Wheeler. Time you're relying on freshmen. You're going to have some uncertainty and inconsistency. Well, that's nice from Ivy. And Williams gets the flush. Was just one for five from the floor before that shot to Michigan. Watch Ivy get in the lane. And, and he looks like he's just, you know, out just jogging a little. Perhaps a function of some of what you're talking about there. And maybe to the detriment of Minnesota. Oh, what a pass by Williams. Right here, he sees, he sees, and delivers. Had a big again, 10 standout. Right underneath. That is number three on him. Got a mismatch inside, but well, now he's back. Ivy. Picks it out to Isaiah Thompson, who hits the three. Another great pass right into the shooting pocket of Eric Hunter, who knocks it down. Catching Northwestern in rotation. Watch the step up with the double by Nance. And catching the team in rotation. Northwestern's not going to allow Ryan Young to be out on an island with Travion Williams. Bottling up Ivy, that leaves Gillis open, and Purdue knocks down their sixth triple of the afternoon. Took the ball screen and got right into the painted area. Stefanovic, oh, that's a great catch by Travion Williams. Got some back and forth action here. Both teams making plays on the offense. Williams again, oh, what great hands. Man, that's twice in a row. Ivy, the outstanding freshman for Purdue, got it to Williams, who finished in a foul. <laughs> Ivy, the scoop, Williams, the finish. Nice vision from Ivy. Releases every week, it seems like, has been a Purdue freshman. Four separate freshmen have been freshmen of the week for Purdue. Pitch and catch, and it's easy when he's on stilt. Zach Eady stuffs it down. You saw the numbers. He was the one guy on Saturday against Iowa who was knocking down shots and sort of playing really well. Ivy, nice look for Williams, who kind of scoops it in almost reverse style in devastating fashion. You heard Tom Izzo, if you were with us at the top of our broadcast after that game on Saturday, say he was embarrassed. His team has not embarrassed him today. Great catch by Eric Hunter with the cut to lay it in. Right in the middle of the floor, okay? Here's a screen, boom, slip, now watch. He has no idea, 25. <laughs> Position deep inside the post. He's got two more and a timeout taken by the Huskers. Three and a half into the second half. 
Ivy to the corner, leaves it for Edie. That was beautiful. Ivy, the flip to the big freshman for the flush. That the All-American goes to the bench to rest, and then you bring in the 7-4 freshman who picks up and does all the dirty work, and he's not going to miss too many of those. Might have been fouled, but Purdue's big man put so much. Keeps his concentration, able to finish. Williams, almost a no-look inside there, and a beauty to Gillis, who converts, but what a pass from Travion Williams. Ivy, confident, lets it go again. That time it's no good, but it's taken by Thompson on the offensive board. Good pass, another one from Williams on a dime. Stefanovic with the finish. Seven and a half minutes in, Purdue stuck on five points, but a very rough offensive beginning for them. Ivy's three goes down. Self job by Sasha Stefanovic. That was close, but they give the ball to Purdue. Fewest turnovers of any team in college basketball. Stefanovic on this end off the glass. It matters in this state, just like basketball does. And I, I just feel so fortunate that I got to play in this game and play on the floor where Gene Cady coached and Bobby Knight coached. Ohio State legend. And also a, a Brownsburg legend, I might add. Oh, Edie engulfs the rim. Well, this is not going to please Archie Miller. You see Race Thompson just getting off balance. Zach Eady. Eric Hunter curling the pass around. That was a thing of beauty. Bucket and a foul.